What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hi there, and welcome to the Forum Report. I'm Sophia Osborne, the managing editor here at The Gateway, and today I'll be unpacking the top three things that happened at the Meyer Horowitz Forum. This was the last forum of the election season, and as always, classes were canceled from 12 to 1 p.m. so students could attend. The turnout was pretty good, with the theater about half full, but it did feel like most of the students there were already involved with student governance, and a lot of the questions felt like plants from different campaign teams. We didn't learn a lot more about the candidates or their platforms that hadn't been covered in previous forums, but still, there were a few interesting things that happened today. Let's get started. The two presidential candidates, current VP academic Akanksha Batnagar and VP student life Andre Bourgeois, answered a lot of questions at this forum about problems with diversity in governance and how they would foster inclusion in the students' union. It's obvious that this is an issue that Akanksha has focused on since day one, and as a woman of color, she is certainly better equipped to talk about diversity as someone with lived experience. Still, Andre showed that he's at least done his homework when it comes to issues that affect groups like international students and students with disabilities on campus. It's hard, though, to go up against someone who has such a proven track record of work with initiatives like Stride. I wear my identity on my sleeve. I can't ignore it. I can't avoid it, even though I've been taught to. We talk about identity politics as if women of color have a choice in whether or not to engage in these discussions. Look up on the stage today. Do you see a pool of candidates that represents you? Because four years ago when I was in the audience, I didn't. Diversity is more than a quota, inclusion is a process, and equity is a goal that will require each and every one of us to participate. And that's why I included in my platform a provision that I want to advocate for the addition of a seat on the Board of Governors for Indigenous students, because when we talk about reconciliation and we talk about equity and diversity, what it really boils down to is giving power to the people whose voices are silenced. Another big focus at this forum was sexual violence, with the Vice President Student Life Race fielding questions about what tangible steps they would take to reduce sexual violence on campus and in the Greek community specifically. And we saw the three candidates take really different approaches. As expected, Jared Larson used his answers to show how much institutional knowledge he has, not just about initiatives at U of A, but other universities around the country. Shoa Rizvi took a hard stance and talked about working with the Dean of Students on penalties for perpetrators of sexual violence. And Rory Storm, who used to be president of the Interfraternity Council, talked about creating more workshops to prevent assaults before they happen. We need to do what is right for our students and follow a dedicated commitment to the pursuit of expanding our sexual violence initiatives. We need to create opportunities for victim survivors to be leaders on their path to healing and justice and rely on approaches to healing and justice that are rooted in empathy and support. We need to continue to spread awareness for consent and the prevention of sexual violence, and we need to hold the university to the commitments that they made two years ago following the Sexual Assault Response and Implementation Committee recommendations to the community, and especially with the creation of the Sexual Assault Response and Prevention Coordinator. A good VPSL would not take the helm, but work to improve those organizations and uh, I guess collaborate with Dean of Students to see what, you know, penalties are there for these steps because it's not appropriate if a student has to go to class and their perpetrator, like the person that assaulted them is there in class with them. That's not fair to any student and that's just straight up evil. We need to incentivize students to go to these workshops, not just the workshops reaching out. We need to provide better, like, kind of a good peer pressure for student groups to educate all their members on sexual violence. Because when the leader does, like leader reaches out to the student group, hey guys, we should all go do this, then you're gonna have more incentive because they're all friends and they're gonna go together. The Greek community does this, the athletics community does this, why don't the rest of the student groups on campus do this? Voters will have to decide which strategy they prefer, but it was good to see how much all three candidates care about this issue. I will also say that Shoah really came into her own at this forum, and I was really wowed by her presence on stage. She's talked a lot at previous forums about her nerves and how much courage it takes to be a candidate, and it's clear she's become a lot more confident, which is awesome to see. 
we actually saw quite a few questions directed at the uncontested VP Academic and VP Operations and Finance races today, but OpsY candidate Luke Stat showed he's not really willing to commit to anything besides consulting students more. It's hard to vote for someone when you have no idea what they stand for or what the future of sub and the SU businesses would look like under them. Ultimately, these elections are supposed to be a first round of student consultation in that we get to decide whose ideas we like best. When a candidate fails to bring any of their own ideas to the table, it's like voting blindly. I hope that if elected, Luke won't just expect students to do all that hard work for him. I do have specific ideas. I've just chosen not to share them in these forms too much. Because I think if I say, for example, with Dewey's, this isn't necessarily like a sure thing next year. But for example, I could say with Dewey's, I want to expand it. I want to turn it into something like Deercade. I want to add foosball tables, lounges, that kind of thing which is something I thought would be a cool idea, but as soon as I say that, it almost takes away the value of saying, now I'm going to have the students guide the, guide the decision, because as soon as I say it on the platform, as soon as I say it on stage, it almost seems like I've already made the decision. So I definitely have tangible things with the businesses and the services that I have that I want to do. I just try to keep it more general for now. Well, that's it. That was the last forum of the 2019 election season. It's been a ride, and I'm excited to see the results on Thursday night. Overall, I'm disappointed that there was never a chance for candidates to ask each other questions in the forums, which has been a standard part of forums for as long as I've been covering elections. Anyway, don't forget to vote on March 6th and 7th, and thanks for tuning in.